It's Christmas time, a time to spend with friends, family, and of course, little baby JC over here. How you enjoying your birthday, buddy? You ain't got much time left, so live it up now, you know? I mean, they do some fucked up shit to you. Like, they fuck you up, dude. And finally, the Christmas season is about taking a break from the hustle and bustle of life. I tell you, playing these games is hard work. So I'm gonna kick back, relax, turn on a Nintendo game, and try to give my brain the rest it so dearly needs. There's no rest for a John Tron, is there? There's no rest. All right, I suppose it's my duty then. One more. In the spirit of the season, I give you this gift to hold warmly in your heart like a yuletide log. Brace yourselves for the zoo race. Zoo race is, is a game. Someone made this. This is a thing that exists and was put into the world knowingly. Let me give you a taste. In one picture, I'm gonna show you what zoo race is all about. Did you get that? Is that all sinking in for you? Let's get broken. Let's get broken together this Christmas. You and me, you know, forget Rudolph, forget Frosty and Charlie Brown. I just wanna get, I just wanna get real sad. Hi, Reuben. May I ask, what book are you reading? Oh, hi, Hannah. Yes, it's a book about Noah's Ark. Ah, oh boy, here we go. Look at Albert Einstein over here, just perfectly placed for this meeting of the minds. Reuben, do you actually believe in the Bible story of Noah's Ark? Two sentences in, she's already asking about his beliefs. Now, first off, that's just rude. And second off, hey, Hannah, where the fuck you going? You gonna just ask and run? Oh, okay, just repositioning yourself then? Reuben. Yes, Hannah? I must recommend for you to read perhaps some more informative books. Now, Hannah, frankly, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This is like the most exciting shit. It's a book about a guy collecting every animal. It's like the original Pokemon. There's always the dictionary, encyclopedias, and also many history books to choose from. Oh, is that how you get smart? Yeah, that would explain it. I've been trying for ages and failing. No, Hannah. I like books about animals. Those other books are boring to me. And my dialogue was written by a four-year-old. Look at this lady walking down the hall. Once she gets an earshot, she's out of there. She's the smartest person in the room. Do you think that Noah had any creature races in those days after the world flood? Now, Reuben, you know that's a loaded question. Did Noah play and have fun with the animals? Now, Reuben, you know that's a loaded question. I think that maybe you read too many books, Reuben. And Reuben, this is a librarian telling you this. Clearly, she can see you're a man who's been reading one too many of Dostoevsky's great works. It must be the vacant existential stare that tipped her off. You have too much imagination, Reuben. Oh, that's the hand of a defeated man right there. And who would actually start and announce such a race? Would it be God himself, maybe? Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's totally the weirdest thing about this. Actually, I would love to, but this is a very busy time of year for me. I've got my son's birthday, and don't laugh at me! Now, Hannah, while this man's brain may be filled with as many holes as a fine Swiss cheese, that's the, that's the thing you're going to single out? That he couldn't announce a race? But, but, you know that God can do it, because God can do anything. Is anyone else getting the feeling this conversation has about as much depth as two five-year-olds arguing over who the best Ninja Turtle is? Come on, Hannah, let's race. You and me, let's race. Oh, and he's off! Look at this guy go! He's homeward bound! Come on, buddy, keep going! You'll make it in time for the holidays! You do it, big guy! Can we back that up a bit there? For the first time in my life, I'm... I'm fucking speechless. I got nothing. Come on, Hannah. Are you going to race me? <laughs> I shit back here. You need to get a brain, Reuben. And besides that, well, I don't think that I can race even if I wanted to. I'm not very strong or anything. I don't feel very well. Ugh. Actually, guys, I think, you know, maybe, maybe it's me right now that's not feeling so good. What? I'm a horse now. <laughs> Uh, yes, that statement is true. Care to go on? And you, Reuben? 
You're a rhinoceros! Ah, uh, Hannah, come on, that's just rude. That's tasteless. Ah! What else could ever happen to us today? Lady, you just got turned into a horse. I'm gonna say sky's the limit. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's for real, isn't it? Hey, where are you guys going over there? Is it somewhere else? Take me with you. All right, so this is the zoo race. I guess subtitled Noah's Adventures 2. Is that like a follow-up to Noah's Adventure 1, a video game that doesn't exist? Or is it actually a sequel to the Bible story? If it's the latter, interesting move from religious text to video game. Bold choice. Also, what is this, J-pop? All your heart, the Lord of God, all your soul. Lovely, you can look at the credits. Yeah, if they ever get here. Ah, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. It would appear that a man named Taco Cohen wrote a whole seven lines of code for this game. What'd they do it in, C minus minus? Oh, and by the way, this is very important to remember, so write this down. Tamar the Tiger was created by Dan Silverman. Dan, we couldn't have done this without you, buddy. Creature party, creature party, it's more fun than nothing. Is that Tamar the Tiger over there? Oh, well, I take it all back. I can see now that an explicit credit was necessary. Hey, Tamar, is that rigor mortis set in for you yet? Yeah, I feel you, man, it's tough. Jewish rhino, top hat pig, dancing lamb doesn't know he's about to get slaughtered. I don't know what that is on the right. I think it might be a pharaoh goat. All these screens look like a website from the early internet days. The earth was filled with great violence in Noah's time, as the Bible describes. Yeah, just Noah's time. Thank God that's over. The game story. Fiction. Oh, thank God they cleared that up. All right, time to pick a character, I guess. What's with these titles? Warrior, courageous, swim champion. One of these is not like the other. One of them fought and died for their cause. The other one uh, did a mean backstroke at summer camp. Well, here's Tamar again. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna say it. That's just a fucking tiger. I'm not so sure you can get credit for making a 3D model of a fucking tiger. I think the only person who should be credited for this, if anyone, is God himself. And I think, you know, in light of this whole thing, it's a bit blasphemous to try to take credit for that. Or at the very least, it's just plagiarism. Priscilla the pig, I gotta hand it to you. You really are the entertainer. Yeah, there's something about you, I just, I can't put my finger on what it is. You know, I'm gonna go with the pig, because I feel like, you know, maybe there's some real dire consequences for not going with the pig. Priscilla the pig. Oh, God, you don't sound so good. You get enough sleep last night? Oh, oh, there she goes. Oh, there's no turning back now. We're headed to the starting line. Is that just, is the word nectarine just going to be there the whole time? All right, I'll roll with it. Go. Oh, my. God. Holy shit. I think, oh, I think, I, got, I think I'm bleeding from the chest. What the, the horse, <laughs> Followed by Gad, the goat. Is this real life? the rhino. Oh. Priscilla. Oh, no, Harry. You know, when I got on here to play this game based on Noah's Ark, I remember saying to myself, I said, if they don't have a shitty version of Van Halen's Jump as the background music, I'm out. <laughs> oh, I think I found a defector over here. Looks like one of Satan's boys is trying to claw his way back to hell. Yeah, no dice, buddy. That would have taken at least eight lines of programming. Listen, man, I'm really sorry about your situation, but I got a race to win. Oh! -ho! Oh! 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 What? Is this, is this a glitch? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, oh, I think that was a glitch. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a glitch. Resume. Resume. This almost looks like Mario 64. Yeah, I should slap myself for saying that. Oh, that that goddamn gorilla is staring at me again. I will, I will not have this. is like a bad day at the Bronx Zoo. Holy shit. This is awesome. Is that, is that John 316 over here? Throwing goddamn ra irradiated barrels my way? Oh, hey. I actually won. What's my prize? Other than, of course, you know, getting the privilege to stare headlong into Noah's dick. Shalom. Am I missing something? Isn't that one different? Ain't that like going to Disneyland and asking for a Bugs Bunny hat? Oh, no. 
Nope, don't, don't, don't do me like this. Please, just, just don't do me like this. Is that, is that him? Is that Noah? Oh, here he comes, coming in from downtown. Dunk that ball, Noah. It's a living. There is nothing in the known universe that science cannot explain, but this appears to be beyond the realm of sciences. Is this meant to test my faith or to lead me to faith? Also, you maybe want to, you know, set off a few of those fireworks a bit farther from the pig. Unless, of course, your aim here is to make bacon rain, which I admit is also a very admirable goal. Give thanks to the God of heaven. You want to run that by me one more time? Maybe this time with one less Vicodin jammed down your throat? This game is a train wreck of the most beautiful kind. The controls are wonky, the courses consist mostly of straightaways and 90 degree hairpin turns, and there doesn't seem to be any ulterior goal except winning the race and watching Noah do his magical firework dance. Let's check out the second level. Avoid the obstacles, one of which is God himself it seems. Come on, you guys are giving me conflicting messages here. This race is pirate and Egyptian themed? I'm pretty sure those things existed at different times, and I think maybe one of them didn't even exist at all. All the gold is yours now. Also, I'm the Lincoln Memorial with gold or banana peels. The graphics aren't good enough to tell. You still get to stare at my dick, though. No one like the Lord our God. Dude, I don't think that was weed we just smoked. Everybody's up for a Noah party. Noah's in the house. Let me hear you go. Let me hear you go. Noah party. I'm going to say Noah and I'm saying no to this. When your kid's mom told you to say no to drugs, she also meant to say no to this. Let's check out Seth's safari. Avoid the dinosaurs. Okay, this one, I got it. This one makes sense to me. Okay, maybe I wasn't as ready as I thought. Noah, you're just trying to tenderize these animals so you can make a great steak later? If so, I gotta hand it to you. The Rube Goldberg approach is very unique. I bet it took even longer to set up than the boat. You're a man of many talents, you know that? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And by praise the Lord, I mean, look at this bridge filled with dinosaurs, pterodactyls, and a teetering station car. If that doesn't get the point of the Lord across, I just don't know what will. Lord, please just give me a sign. Where are you going with this shit? What? 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 Okay, now I'm gonna get hit by this train. Wait, no, oh, now I'm driving it. Okay, this is happening. This puts the effing faith, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> This is fantastic, you know, I, I didn't know it could get this good. I don't know how they're gonna top this. Oh, oh I'm coming! I, I, I'm done here, I fulfilled my purpose. I, I need to see no more shit down here. Great juxtaposition here. Is that it? Is it over? What? No, oh no, here I am! Oh my god. Well? The show must go on. Thanks, Noah, for putting me through that traumatizing shit. I may be number one at the swimming contest, but I'll never be right in the head again. Really, the only part of this game that's actually entertaining is seeing all the crazy, absurd concepts for levels and their extremely weird scripted events, if you could call them that. Most of the rest of the game is just pure confusion, an unadulterated lack of spatial understanding. Okay, I am not comfortable with this. That horse is way too eager to get in that cannon. What kind of state do you gotta be? I mean, what do you, what do your parents gotta do to you for you to turn out like this, to make something like this? I don't even know what the fuck's your problem. There's a police cocaine boat from Miami, but that's okay, cause why not? I did a bunch of coke before I made this game. Oh, you know, watch out for those giant rats coming down a slide when you're a horse going up a slide. This pizza looks like. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing left. That's a fucking. There's a pizza on the ground. I ain't, oh, I ain't got much left. Am I outside the fence? Am I outside the fence? Am I anywhere? Is any of these. Can I jump over the. Well, I, when I remember when I was up there on the ledge with the, with the rifle, Jesus said, Don't do it. And then he sang me this song. And I, and I, and I took the gun and I said, you're right, Jesus. What am I doing? Thank you for playing me this song and putting me on this rocket, on this ca uh, caterpillar... Uh, you know, to the moon, though. To the moon. To the moon! To the moon, though! Is that where we're going? You didn't tell me! You didn't at least, you know, when you go on the new Virgin Atlantic space flight, you gotta sign a goddamn waiver! You're just taking me to the moon! You're just... 
that is just straight up a NASA space shuttle. What? What is the? You're you're out of control, man. I'm cutting you off. Seriously. Science, and religion, and a bear with a pink hat on the moon. Stay tuned, folks. We got more where that came from. Hello, U.S. government? Yeah, I'm calling in because I like to cancel Christmas. Yeah, exactly, just like the Grinch. Uh, yes, because the human race doesn't deserve a break. We got at least 10, 20 years before we're going to fix this shit. So does this uh, cancel Christmas all around the world, or I got to call each country individually? Yeah, okay, I'll hold. I just want to say thank you guys so much. For me, this has been an amazing year of working on JonTron. I've never been so passionate and focused in my life. And really, it's all thanks to you. Without your rabid, undying support, I could never pull this off. So from the bottom of my heart, this is JonTron wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. If you want to help support the show, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com at audible.com slash JonTron. You get a free audiobook just for signing up. So kick off this Christmas season right with Tim Curry's A Christmas Carol. Yes, that exists. That's a winner. Come on, how can you say no? If you want to check out something real cool, check out Pixel Logic on Indiegogo. It's a fundraiser for a sprite art tutorial made by Michael Azzi, the guy who does all the John Tron pixel art. He's done so much for this show, so why don't you go do so much for him? Click it. See you next time.